Uh, I was going to ask you a question. Oh. Well, what, what was it? I don't remember. Ugh. <laughs> Where's the fucking drop kit? It's probably in the thing. Look right there. It's a goddamn elevator. It's Look, not in here. It might be in there. Somewhere. Or maybe it's downstairs or something. Slide! God, the sliding is weird in this. I like it. How could that possibly okay. be? Uh, I, the hot cold game that is this. It's gotta be. Said. It's gotta be like upstairs or something. Maybe it's under us. Yeah. It's gotta be. It's not in the ceiling. It's not in here, dude. Why is there a car in here? Ah, uh, there's several cars in here. There's one hanging from the ceiling over there. All right, we'll try it your way. X. Just fucking slap them all. Monorail, my two. That's the idea. So, uh. <laughs> hey, there it is. Yep. I told you it was up here. Stupid. <laughs> Give me some more of these stompers. Damn, you used that many of them? Yeah, man, when I have them, I go crazy. I only noticed you using it once. Refill that. This gun has now become very important to me. The main one? Yeah. I like it with the charge thing. I don't even want that gun anymore. This one sucks. Uh, should we go... I'm out of ammo on the flail gun. Oh, man, I, I guess sniper good. rifle, yeah? The sniper rifle was doing some work. The uh, headhunter, if you will. Shit, what's my left and right? Oh, I, don't know. I want to replace my right weapon. But now you don't have any explosives. I don't need them. I got the thumper. Okay. Okay, we're good. Also, the secondary fire on this is an explosive bullet. Is it? Yeah, see? Right there on the screen. Ooh! Come do some drunk sniping! My bench beer. Oh, oh fuck me. <laughs> I didn't know it was still gonna be drunk mode when I did that. <laughs> Whoa, what oh, the hello. Fuck? Oh, jeez. Nice. It didn't work. Tried to no scope him in. Not MLG enough for that shit. <laughs> Not in drunk mode. Or ever. Fuck off! God damn it! Uh oh shit, dude. Oh, he, he got he on top got, of me. Uh, bodied, as the kids like to that say. That was embarrassing. Can we, uh, can we edit that out? Not drunk. Not drunk. And no, we can't edit it out. Sure, we can. There's been plenty of shit I wanted to edit out that I left in because I was like, Chris is gonna want to leave this scene. <laughs> no. What? No. Like what? Like, in. Uh, one of the Sonic episodes when you were doing that old guy voice and you did your obnoxiously loud fucking gross flimmy smoker's cough thing and then you were like, I just got phlegm all over my pop filter, I could see it and it was fucking gross that I was eating while I was editing that episode and I was like, I really want to just mute this whole fucking like 20 second span of the episode. No. <laughs> That's exactly what, okay, see, yeah I would have insisted that stayed in. Uh-huh, yeah because you're fucking disgusting. <laughs> well, the joke was that I was sitting here hacking up my fucking lungs. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, step one, get drunk. Customers. Yep, step one, get drunk. I'm gonna get those twenty bottles. Damn it! Well, if you keep step dying two, right before the bottles, then uh, the I'm gonna go gonna this. Oh shit! Let's see how this does. Oh fuck! This is. <laughs> oh my! Wow! Yes! Oh, nice! I got a lot of points for that. That was really good. Letter bomb. Oh fuck! <laughs> Think you can hide from me? That's what I was gonna talk to you about. I remembered. What? Hey, this guy don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, that was awesome. It even broke the bench. Yeah, that was. I like her way more than red. Ishii. <laughs> that was awesome. Anyway, what were you gonna ask me? How do you feel about virtual reality, like as it exists right now? As it exists, are you talking about like that dome, like Oculus Rift, thing? fucking all that shit? How, how does how do you feel about it right now from what you've seen? I don't care. You don't care? I don't care. Are you excited for the prospect of it becoming more relevant? Of course. Uh-huh. What? Why is but this But right now, it's it? all just... I don't know. Is, there, is, there, is, is she upset that I said I liked her better? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Redeem yourself, big guy. 
Jesus. That took some doing. <laughs> wow. Those Res Donkey Kong motherfuckers are pretty tough. Yeah. They're not immune to the leash. Donkey Kong motherfuckers? I don't know, dude. They look like bad guys from Donkey Kong. Well, now they look like... They look like those fucking... What are they called? Like, the big fat, like, gators from Donkey Kong, you know? The ones from Donkey Kong Country. Commander Gators. The... Gator Manders. The... Yeah, Corporal basically. The big, yeah, the big fat ones who, like, waddle everywhere. Future me, put a picture up. Those guys. I hope you found them. What the fuck is happening? Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> nice use of, uh, environmental, uh, shit. Thank you. It's a good thing Bruce isn't DMing this game. Otherwise, that would have backfired on you horribly. Well, he's still alive, so in a way... <laughs> This is exactly like Bruce for DMing this game. Nah, he didn't get stronger or anything. You're not getting punished. There. Kicked his fucking head off. Kicked his fucking head off. Wow. You didn't learn your lesson from what I did to your friend there? They never do. That should be a mechanic a lot more in games. What? Fuckers running from you because yeah, you're a badass? Like, okay. It especially pisses me off, and I think I've told you this before. I don't know if I've said it on the show, but especially in, like, Skyrim, where... You come to a point where you just fucking... It's like the last person, and you've got them, like, super low on health, and they're fucking terrified. And they're like, oh, no, please don't kill me. Ah! And they're, like, running away. And then inevitably, after a certain amount of time, they turn around and keep trying to kill you. Right? Like they forgot? Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't fight Like, no matter what, you can sheath your weapons. You can, you can walk away. You can do anything. They'll still try to kill you. It pisses me off, because there's a lot of times where it's like, if this guy's not going to fight me, I feel like uh, it's fair for me to just be like, okay, yeah, fine, sure. If you're not going to fight me, I have no reason to kill you. Bye. See, I was always a lot more uh, brutal in games that I play. Whoops. Where uh, if somebody tries to surrender, I'm going to kill them anyway, because they shouldn't have fucked with me in the first place. Yeah, well, I figure, you know, they don't really know any better. <laughs> And then once they learn better, they decide to surrender. I'll be like, okay, yeah, you know now. <laughs> you know what you fucking did wrong. <laughs> so I'll spare you, but they don't let you. And furthermore, even if you did let them run away and you just, like, kept going or walked away or did whatever, if if you could get, get away from them without them being able to fire anymore, it becomes a situation where they're, like, chasing you. But even if, even if, uh, even if you did get away from them, Oops. You're punished for it because you don't get the the X or whatever for killing them. Yeah. So I feel like you should be you should this should be the capability to uh, spare them and not get punished for it. I'm not trying to grab there. I want to see what this does to them. Nothing if I miss. Because the whole point of those games is that you're supposed to be able to choose, you know, how you handle it. Mm-hmm. But in that case, you don't have a choice, and it pisses me off. It sucks. It's a shitty mechanic of that game. Yeah. And really, like, at this point, um, I've been trained so long to know that they're not going to back the fuck down. Exactly. That not killing them when they try to surrender is stupid. Exactly. Because they punish you for it. I never got that, uh... The... In, in Fallout 4, they had those, like, perks, the charisma perks that, like... If you if you you could like point your weapon at like things and then they would stop trying to fight you. Yeah, I never tried those. Um, but I have enough charisma points to do it, so I'm kind of. Oh fuck! I kind of want to give it a spin. Yeah, I mean, there have been times in that game where I don't want to kill NPCs, and uh, I don't have a choice. Fuck them all, man! Like there was this part where I was like running all the way across fucking. Where'd that game take place? Boston? I was running like all the way across Boston, trying not to kill this guy, and I just eventually someone else killed her for me. <laughs> oh, are you, are you talking about, uh... Yeah, one of those people from, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Covenant? Whatever, yeah. The town that looks all perfect and nice inside. But it's actually like a... They're kidnapping people yeah, and dissecting them. Yeah, concentration camp to find out how to tell people if people are synths or not. Yeah, that place. It was the, it was the mechanic or whatever. Cause she like whenever you whenever you go in there the first time she sounds like she's not really like fully on board with what they're doing she's all like nervous and shit and I'm like she sounds like she wants to tell me something I feel like she's not totally on board with all this situation and then uh, <laughs> whenever you piss off uh, whenever you piss them off 
and they all come out of that town to kill you for ruining their operation. She's she's right there with them trying to kill you. Yeah. So she was the last one I had alive, and I was like, I really, you know, you really didn't seem like you you wanted to be a part of this in the first place. You know, I'd really love to spare you, but you're making it awful fucking hard on me to do that. <laughs> Yeah. So that was the one situation where I was like, okay, I wish I had that perk that lets me point my gun at people and they chill the fuck I out. I didn't give a shit. I went and got my power armor and then just completely decimated that town. <laughs> <laughs> they should have found me charming to begin with. I looked like Lemmy from Motorhead. Ah, uh, Lemmy. If that's not a face that you can't trust, I don't know what is. Rest in pepperonis, my friend. Indeed. He's with Macho Man now. Yep. And Neil Patrick Harris. What? Don't tell me that shit. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't give a shit about Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, uh, come on, man. He's highly overrated. He's pretty funny. Ah, uh, How I Met Your Mother sucked. Well, yeah, but... That doesn't mean he wasn't funny in it. Yeah, no, yeah, he had some moments. He's just one of those, like, celebrities that's, like, so fucking overrated. Where the... F Fuck am I supposed to go? I don't know, we'll find out later. And then we sat there and unenthusiastically discussed Neil Patrick Harris for 15 minutes. All I'm saying is, the guy who played Ted never stops smirking and it pisses me the fuck off. It doesn't matter what fucking scene he's in, he's always got that stupid douchebag fucking <laughs> smirk on his face. Fucking bitch. What's his fucking name? The actor. <laughs> I don't know, man. Don't look it up. Are we gonna go to his house or something? No, we're putting him on the list of people we want to fight. He's gonna be the last person the Foolish Mortals fight, and I'm gonna train for that fight. He's gonna be the final boss. I'm gonna beat the shit out of whatever the fuck that guy's name is. I'm gonna look it up. It's gonna be the first thing I say on the next episode. 